It's now easier than ever to create compelling dynamic slideshows in Lightroom CC and improve performance, stability, and high DPI support means that you'll get your work done faster than ever before. Let's take a look at the new features and enhancements made to the playback panel. At the top, we can see that there are now two distinct modes. If you want the slideshow to play back on its own with music and videos, crossfades, pans and zooms, then choose automatic. If you want control over the advancement of the images, perhaps you want to tell a story or explain how the image was captured, then you'll want to select manual. In the automatic mode, there are several new options, including the ability to add motion using the pan and zoom option. Use the low to high slider to determine how much motion you want to add. Lightroom will randomize the pan and zoom location for each image to add visual interest. To accommodate a larger number of images in a single slideshow, you can now add multiple audio tracks using the music panel. Click on the plus icon and then select up to 10 different tracks. Supported formats include MP3, AAC, and ALAC. You can see the length of each track as well as the duration of all of the tracks together. The music will automatically fade from one song to another throughout the slideshow. To reorder, just drag and drop in the music panel. To delete a track, select it and then click on the minus icon. Once the audio tracks are set, you can choose the length of time that you want for the transition from one image to the next using the crossfade option. Let's make this a little bit longer, maybe 1.5 seconds, and then click Fit to Music to have Lightroom calculate how long each individual slide will play. If you prefer your images to be displayed based on the beat of a song, you can turn on the Sync Slides to Music. I'll just mention if you have a video clip in your slideshow and you choose to sync slides to music, Lightroom will automatically use the poster frame for the video instead of playing the clip in order to keep time with the music. When you're finished customizing all of the settings, be sure to create a saved slideshow. This saves all of the options and all of the panels as well as the photographs that you have selected. You can then access this saved slideshow at any time in the collection panel. If you want to save all of the slideshow options and use them again with different photographs, then be sure to click on the plus icon and save this as a template. Finally, you can choose to preview your slideshow with either draft, standard, or high quality images. When you're creating the slideshow and adjusting and sequencing the images, then you might want to preview the images in draft or standard mode so that Lightroom doesn't have to create high quality previews. But when you're finished creating the slideshow and are ready to present it, then set the preview to high. It might take Lightroom a moment to create the needed preview files, but it'll be worth it to view your images looking their best. When you're ready to either preview or play the slideshow, either click Preview in order to have Lightroom preview it within this window or click Play in order to play your slideshow.